Understanding the differences between composite actions and reusable workflows in GitHub Actions can be more complex than you think, especially after the latest changes GitHub made. But hey, I'm here for you. Let's find out together what those two features have in common, what the differences are, and when you should use one instead of the other. Hey, welcome back. I'm Corey Dave, and here we try and do DevOps just better. Today, as I've mentioned in the intro, we talk about GitHub Actions, Composite Actions, and Reusable Workflows. I've already made a video on this subject before, but uh, however, uh, that was almost one and a half years ago, and as many pointed out in the comments of that video, GitHub has substantially changed the feature set since, so it's time for an, uh, an updated comparison. Also, I, I recorded that video from my COVID quarantine hotel, so yeah, that was not great. And by the way, if you want to have a deeper dive into either composite actions or reusable workflows, be sure to check the in-depth videos I made about them. You have the links in the video description up here. In general, uh, however, reusable workflows are a way to avoid duplication as you can reuse the same workflow in multiple other workflows and perhaps create a library of proven and effective workflows that can be centrally maintained. Composite actions instead allows you to combine multiple steps within a single action. Uh, for example, you can use this feature to bundle together multiple run commands into an action and then have a workflow that executes bundles of commands as a single step using that action. And this brings me to the first difference between the two, visibility and logging. I think this point is pretty important, but it's often overlooked. With reusable workflows, you have a very rich log of what is happening and every single job and step is logged independently in real time, as you can see here on screen. My workflows has two jobs in it, and each job is logged together with its steps, all clear and organized. This is, however, not the case with composite action. As we have just seen, composite actions are a way to group multiple steps in one. And this also means that when executing that step, you don't have visibility on, on all of the parts. All you have is a single log of a single step, even if that actually contains multiple steps. Another difference, which is the biggest difference in my opinion, is about jobs. As we've said before, composite actions allow you to only have a flat list of steps. Therefore, you cannot have multiple jobs in a single composite action. And in fact, a composite action doesn't even specify a job keyword, but it uses a runs instead and can only be consumed from within a job in the color repository. Because of this, you can see a composite action basically like any other action you have uh, on the marketplace. The story, of course, is completely different for reusable workflows. They do define jobs inside them, and because of that, you can have as many jobs as you want in a single reusable workflow. And since they do use jobs, and you have to specify, as you know, where the job will run, we can take this concept a little further. If your job needs to run on a specific runner or machine, which may or may not be independent from the uh, workflow that calls it, you need to use reusable workflows and not composite actions. Before we move on to the next difference, hit the like button below if you're enjoying this video or you find it insightful. This will help this video to be seen by more people so they can benefit from it. And of course, that will mean a lot to me. Thanks. Okay, so next and actually last difference between composite actions and reusable workflows is how you can call them. And this tightly relates to what we have just seen previously. Reusable workflows are called directly within a job definition and not from within a job step. You cannot therefore use the github underscore env to pass values to job steps in the color workflow. And more importantly, you cannot add additional steps to the job which calls their usable workflow. Composite actions instead can exclusively be called and used as a step in a job, which also means there could be, and that is usually the case, other steps in the job before or after the composite action. Make sure to keep these differences in mind when you design your actions workflows. There used to be many more differences between composite actions and reusable workflows, but as of the recording of this video, the only ones that still standing are the three differences we've just seen. So to recap, reusable workflows make it simpler to spin up new repositories and projects and immediately start using automation and CI CD workflows with GitHub Actions that you know will work and to reduce code deduplication. Um, composite actions, on the other hand, allow you to pack multiple tasks and operations in a single step to be reused inside a job. Let me know in the comments below if you notice any other point in which those two features differ, and if you prefer using composite actions or reusable workflows, or why not, both. Also, check out this video over here 
in which I talk about the new GitHub Actions larger runners and how to use them. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video here at Code Day. Oh,